everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm going to bring to you my top 5 favorite nude lipsticks that I have in my collection and that I found throughout the years and whatnot. And also I threw in my top 3 favorite uh, nude lip glosses or lip blackers, however, lip butters, however you want to call them. And I threw them in this because I couldn't narrow, narrow it to the just 5. I mean, I picked the the things that the nudes that I think that they are staples in my collection and that I like a lot. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you the first one. It's the darkest nude one that I have, and it's called Intense Nude 130, and it's from Estee Lauder. I know it's a little bit expensive, but it's this beautiful nudey terracotta -y shade, and I'm gonna swatch it for you in here. Here you can see. And all this, these lipsticks and lip shades have the thing that they are really complementary with any kind of bold look that you want to throw into your eyes, you know, and it's not gonna take the protagonism away, or you can really throw them in for a more casual day or whatnot. Moving on, I will show you this Maybelline 715 in Choco Cream, and it's, it's much lighter than the Estee Lauder one, as you can see. And this, I think this is one that we would all call a nude, nude lip. More toppy, this is more intense, as you can see, of course, but they all are nudes, marketed as nudes, and this is the nude that you would think, you know, when you're thinking about nudes. Next, I will show you another high-end, and I promise I... Oh yeah, I have another one, but... I am not trying to justify myself, but... Because I... It's my guilty pleasure, the makeup. But yeah, I tend to buy drugstore a lot, for, but for some reason, nudes, I have some high-end... Whatever, let's go into the business. And it's this Dior Addict Extreme and incognito, I don't know if you can read here. And this is the perfect lip for when you don't want to think about anything, you just you can even apply it without looking into a mirror or whatever because it's really that easy. I'm gonna swatch it for you in here. And I would say it's really similar to the chocolate cream from Maybelline, as you can see. And this is a really no must, no fuss nude. And I tend to wear this a lot as well in the winter time. And it has a high shine, as you can see. So it's not matte. Uh, as I said, I don't know if I told you, but when I want matte nude lips, I go for a nude um, lip liner, such as this from L'Oreal, which is called Beige Nu. And it swatches like this. You can see it here and I fill my lips in, maybe I play with a couple of nude shades of lip liners but yeah, there's that, there's that. I don't, I don't go to... Um, I don't fall for the trend of nude... Um, it looks like dry skin to me, you know, uh, matte nude lipsticks, if you know what I'm saying. So, I like a little bit of sheen with nudes. Anyway, moving on, uh, there's this really classic, I, th I think you all know this, Cream Cup from MAC. And I've been loving this a lot throughout the years, and it's really well loved, as you can see, this is the, all that it's left. And this is a paler nude, and more, uh, this is a cream sheen, so yeah, I was gonna say it has a sheen, so yeah, it's a cream sheen, of course it has a sheen. And I like this when I want to go nude nude, like almost like you applied um, concealer into your lips, if you know what I'm saying, because if not, from the MAC range, instead of creme de nude, I would grab cream cup, cream cup, how do you say that? And that is where it's, it has this slighter, more pinky undertone that it's really complementary, at least to my skin tone and whatnot, so there's that. And last but not least, this is the latest purchase that I have and I've been really loving this and I've been using it every day ever since I got it. And at first I saw it, um, I think it, 
couple months ago into and at the drugstore and I didn't think very much about it and I swatched it a couple times but I at the, at the end I decided to give it a go you know to there was this mirror so I grabbed the um, tester and I applied it to my lips and it was like ha so this is looking really different and it's the one that I'm wearing today so without I will stop rambling and I will present to you 141 and it's called Nude Amazonia Amazonia from uh, L'Oreal and it looks like this it's a peachy nude actually so this is more summer friendly not that they are not summer friendly but this would throw in this little twist as you can see here's this little peachy hint that you can see and this would be my top favorite lipstick nude lipsticks <laughs> but as for um, lip glosses because sometimes you, you just want to throw you know some mascara some lip gloss and you don't care about what trends say or what not I mean a little bit of shine into the lips is gonna make you look more alive than a matte lip especially if you don't throw in a full makeup look if you want to go you know just slap some powder some mascara uh, lip gloss is helpful so first things first I this is the first nude lip gloss that I had and yeah that I purchased it back when I was I think 17 or whatever and it's this MAC lip glass it's called Entice if you can see it here and I'm gonna swatch it for you I mean this is a, a repurchase but yeah and this is also a darker knit more complimentary for the winter time and whatnot and yeah it has a perfect sheen the only thing that I don't like about this formulation is that it's sticky and uh, your hairs get stuck into it and whatnot but there's that then I have a couple of nude uh, lip creams lip butters lip butters from NYX and this would be um, this NYX butter gloss in tiramisu I think you all know this but I'm gonna swatch it for you anyway and I'll swatch it for you in here so here you can see this is tiramisu and I think it's a really beautiful nude it's really easy to use and yeah I, I think it's a beautiful look for throughout to use throughout the year and last but not least I have this intense butter gloss from NYX which is called Tres Leches and let me show you the name here Tres Leches and it's this one and it's a bolder take into the tiramisu of course it's thicker it's more opaque and it has this rosy undertone which is really beautiful as well so there's that so as you can see here are all the color swatch as you can see there are we're going from dark nudes to pinky nudes to high shine nudes to barely there nudes there's all kind of nudes actually it's not just one shade of nude but depending on the look depending on your skin tone on or, or even on the outfit that you're wearing that day or the season of the year I would say for the winter time it's at least I prefer wearing darker nudes and in the summertime I prefer lighter nudes so I think there are nudes for every occasion and every taste so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and leave a comment I love to hear about you guys and hear your intake and whatnot so I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one bye